Upper Bound is an exceptional program just because um, all the experiences the students get to have as they're growing and transitioning. And so the Upper Bound program provides an exceptional experience because with specifically for our program, we give them a college experience. So when they come here in the summer for about four weeks, they'll be living in the dorms, living like a college student, eating on campus, taking classes, and they'll get uh, residential evening activities as well. So they get a well-rounded idea of what college can be like and how fun it can be, but at the same time, they have to still have a balance. Um, Overbound is a program where you can get the hands-on college experience, and for minorities like uh, the students that we have, it's hard for them to get that experience because um, they just, they're not exposed to that as opposed to those who um, are more fortunate. And so what we're expecting for our students to gain from our program is for them to get a hands-on college experience and it's supposed to encourage them to go to college despite their circumstances of not being able to afford college. The Upper Bound program hires instructors for the summer. We usually have the core courses, which are English and uh, literature courses, and then we have math and science, and then we also have a financial literacy piece that we include into our service. So for math and science, we use Ice Cube, which is a um, nationally recognized program to work with our students to explore science and math in hands-on learning experiences. For our English and literature component, we usually um, hire on an English teacher. And then literature, we will have the group read a book together and discuss and do activities together as a group. Uh, usually we don't check meals for the students, we just let them pick whatever they want. But this year, um, B found a program that will uh, reimburse us for eating healthy, which is great. Um, what the program does is it promotes the students to choose healthy uh, choices for food, such as grains, fruits, 100% juice, milk, um, things like that. And um, what a lot of students realize is that it's so much easier than they thought, you know, you just grab a plate of food and you just have to remember, get your juice or your fruit and you're pretty much good to go. So that's something that's new and it's really great. I really, I'm really glad that we brought this program in. Well, with leadership time, we try to play games that are more team building and give the students a chance to um, be leaders and try to work together to accomplish a goal. So sometimes they have to cross the grass in a certain amount of time or a certain number of people can walk across it at once or something. Um, we did a lot of games. We did like this lava game or something where they had to like help each other get across. There's another game where they had to like connect their feet. I don't know what it's called, but they had to like try to get to the other side without like disconnecting their feet too. What we try to do is make the students get involved with each other and think about it. And we also try to make them have a good time. <laughs> For Lit Talk, we chose the absolute true diary of a part-time Indian. So it's fun, it's usually easy read, students can relate to it. So with Lit Talk, students are assigned a number of pages um, each day and then they, they read and then the next day they come into class. They do an activity and they discuss the book together as a group and the activity together as a group. So this offers them a chance to uh, speak up, work on their presentation skills, and being able to um, add their own voice and reflect on what they've read the night before. Commuters Week 
week is a week that the students spend um, off campus. What we want to teach the students is that even though there's on campus, you can also commute um, from home. So Commuters Week is all about just experiencing what it's like to stay home and still go to college. Um, and what we do with the students is we, uh, we try to promote community service and we try to uh, get them out to college campus visits. I think there were four or five who were really thinking about considering or applying um, when it gets to their senior year. So a lot of students were sold on it. Um, we put together a, a lot of ideas, what we think students might enjoy, um, and then we plan big activities, small activities. We try to keep it a variety. Um, we realize that if we do two big, big activities two nights in a row, the students will be exhausted. So we try to keep it at, you know, um, small activities and build it up to large activities. What I like most about the Upper Bound Summer Program is how we get to engage and interact with the students. And on top of that, it's also a learning experience on how to be on top of things, organizing things, um, organizing events, and how to be a leader for the students, to be a role model, and just letting the students know how it's going to be like in college. So just preparing students for what their future may be like is something that I found really, really interesting. and. The funnest part about this program is that I really, really got to know the students and it's so fun engaging and just playing um, activities with them and just telling, just sitting down with them, telling stories and just engaging. That's pretty much it. Like I love engaging with the students and they're all wonderful students and that's the funnest part about this program. When I reflect and think about what's important to myself and my purpose here, um, living on this earth, I think about you know what I could possibly do with students. And uh, one story I like to mention is that the story of the boy and the um, starfishes on the beach. So this is a story about a little boy who's walking along the beach and he sees all these starfishes being washed up onto the beach and so he picks them up and starts throwing them back into the water and so someone comes along and asks him why are you even bother doing this because they will just wash back up on the beach and so the little boy answers him or her and says you know the reason why i do this is because if no one else does it then they won't get a chance and he throws the starfish back in I can really relate this story to students because students can be, they may feel like they're not being encouraged, they feel like giving up, but if you continue to encourage and to help them as much as you can to your own abilities, you don't know what kind of opportunities you will present to the student in the future just with your words of encouragement.